There are two salient singularity theorems that are thought by some to militate against an eternal universe. The first one is the Hawking Penrose Singularity Theorem, and the second one is the Borg Guth Vilenkin Theorem. Before explaining what these two theorems are about, it will be nice to know what a singularity even is. A singularity is basically a point where some property or mathematical variable becomes infinite. Both the Hawking Penrose and BVG theorems, in the way they are supposed to show the universe began, are based on space time geometry, expansion, and geodesic incompleteness. There are three types of singularities, curvature, conical, and naked singularities. The HP singularity theorem was supposed to show the universe began via a temporal retrogression where the space-time manifolds geodesics terminate in a finite proper time, and they cannot be extended such that the functional derivatives obtain for all orders. Subsequently, the HP singularity theorem was understood to not show the universe began since it's based on general relativity, which has a classical limit where at a given scale it's no longer generally or saliently applicable. Further, the HP Singularity Theorem has exceptions. It is generally understood that there are five exceptions to the hawking penrose Singularity Theorem. These are closed timelike curves, eternal inflation, quantum gravity, exotic space-times, and no temporally antecedent closed trapped surfaces. It is from one of these exceptions that the BVG theorem was spawned and is most likely why it was created. The BVG theorem is meant to address the second exception which is eternal inflation and inflationary models. This is because some cosmologists were thinking if inflationary models can be future eternal perhaps they can be past eternal and therefore give a complete description of the universe that is geodesically complete. The BVG theorem is meant to address this and supposedly shuts that exception down. However, the BVG theorem does not show the universe began to exist, but rather that inflation must have a beginning. That inflation cannot have been going on eternally or infinitely into the past. As with the HP singularity theorem, there are exceptions to the BVG theorem on top of the fact that it simply does not show the universe itself began but rather the inflationary event must have a beginning. These exceptions are infinite contraction, asymptotically static models, infinite cyclicity, and temporal deconstruction.